Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing another cook with me recipe type vlog. I recently just did one on like a healthy, super easy chili recipe and you guys really seem to like it and we're asking for more of these like casual cooking videos. And today we're gonna be making like healthy Mexican bowls, like Chipotle style bowls. Who doesn't love Chipotle? Let's be real, it's delicious. But it is definitely, you know, can be a little bit healthier, healthier if you do it at home and can also save you a little bit of money. So that is what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. If you guys are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Becca. I'm a registered dietitian and I make tons Tons of nutrition, health, and lifestyle videos here on my channel. So if you like what you see, definitely give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you can stick around and become a part of my little community here on YouTube. So let's get started with the recipe. It is actually like 12.30 right now and the reason I'm starting cooking is because I'm gonna be using my crock pot just to make my life a little easier. So I'm gonna be cooking the chicken in the crock pot and then cooking and uh, throwing together the bowls later, obviously when it's dinner time. So that's the very first thing I'm gonna do and I'll show you what I'm using. So what I'm gonna be adding to my crock pot first and foremost, we have some organic chicken. I buy this specific chicken from Costco. I buy it in bulk and then freeze it and then I just take it out and um, thaw it in like some cold water whenever I'm gonna be using it. So that's why it's kind of wet and on paper towel. <laughs> And then I also have a can of diced tomatoes. Usually for this, I like to use the ones that have like chilies added as well, but I didn't have that, so you know, it doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna be using this. You could also use salsa as well. And then here I have some homemade taco seasoning because you guys totally inspired me to make my own. I showed like a taco seasoning packet in a grocery haul and everyone was like, girl, you gotta make your own. So that's what I did and it was so easy. I don't know why I've never done this before. So some homemade seasoning. I just found a recipe on Pinterest. I'll leave like the recipe down below if you guys are curious to see what's actually in here, but it smells really good. So that's it for now. When this is all done cooking, that chicken is going to shred so easily, it'll literally fall apart. Using the crock pot is not required or anything like that. It just makes my life easier, honestly. You can just cook the chicken, you know, normally and however you'd want to cook it and then shred it up. But this just does all the work for you because it literally just falls apart and shreds so easily. So you don't have to like really get in there with forks to shred it all up, which is what I like. Plus, you know, if you are gonna be out of the house or something like that, it's nice to come home and have the chicken pretty much done. And then you just have to throw together like the rice and the toppings and things like that. Such an easy weeknight meal. But that's it for now and I'll see you guys in a few hours. Hey guys, so it's now later on in the day and I am ready to throw this dinner together. The chicken is just about done. I'm gonna be shredding that up in a second. And pretty much the only thing left to do is just cook the rice and then just throw the bowls together. I'm also just gonna cook a vegetable for the side just to add like more veggies to this meal, get in, get in another vegetable serving. I'm thinking I'm just gonna do asparagus and the way that I like to cook asparagus is just steaming it in the microwave because <laughs> sometimes I just need like a quick simple solution when it comes to veggies. Typically I always roast my veggies like almost always but when it comes to asparagus I don't know I just prefer it steamed and I just like to use the microwave. I know some people don't like microwaves but I've said before if you have a cell phone you are already exposed to those type of rays all day so using the microwave here and there is not going to really harm you. But anyway I'm going to start cooking the rice. This is the rice that I'm going to be using so this is white rice and typically i don't eat white rice i am all for brown rice just because it's a whole grain and um it's much it's completely intact versus white rice it's um very refined they take out extract a lot of the nutrients so brown rice is going to have more fiber and then also just like vitamins and minerals in general so typically i always eat brown rice um, instead of white rice. The reason we are eating white rice, to be completely honest, is because a couple months ago, Rosie had like a serious diarrhea streak that just never ended. So we were feeding her a lot of white rice and chicken along with her normal food. So Matt bought this like huge wumbo bag of white rice and we still have it. I'm just trying to use it up because I don't want to throw it out because that's just ridiculous. A little bit of white rice is not going to kill us. So I'm going to be cooking this just according to the instructions. I'm about to boil some water right here and then I'm just going to be cooking up the rice and then shredding the chicken and then we'll put these bowls together. Hi Rosie. 
Want to smile for the camera? Everybody loves you. Did you have a good day today? All right, the rice is done. Now we're just gonna shred up the chicken and get these bowls started. that rope toy, huh? I think you destroyed it. Looks like you got a couple strays in your mouth. <laughs> it used to look like this, and now it looks like that. Right? You love it, though. So while we assemble the bowls, I'm going to steam the asparagus in the microwave. So I have all my asparagus right here. I chopped off all the ends and uh, washed it thoroughly. And I'm just going to spread them out on like a damp paper towel. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then a little bit of garlic powder. You can obviously use whatever spices you want, but that is just what I like to use. And then I just kind of roll it up, and then I'll put it in the microwave like this for like a minute or two, depending on how much asparagus, and then it's ready to eat. So for the bowls, I'm gonna be using just this chopped up romaine as like the base, and then obviously top it with rice, and then our chicken, which is over here. And then on top of that, um, I have some cheese. I think I'm just gonna do avocado instead of cheese. So I'm gonna pro put probably half of this, so about a fourth of an avocado on top with some salsa and I'll be ready to go. So here's the final product, my little better than Chipotle, healthier than Chipotle Mexican bowl. We got mats over here and then a big plate of asparagus for us to kind of share. So we're gonna dig in. So that is my healthy Mexican bowl recipe. Doesn't taste exactly like Chipotle. I mean, let's be real, but it's definitely lower in sodium and obviously the portion size is much smaller because you can control it because they just give you so much food at Chipotle. So definitely a healthier option. Also a super easy weeknight meal, especially if you use the crock pot. Honestly, Crock-Pot is like the best investment ever. You don't even need a fancy one. I think you can get one for like 30 bucks. They're amazing, especially if you're like, you know, gone at work all day and you just want to like throw dinner in there or at least like cook chicken or something in there and then kind of complete the meal when you get home. They're a lifesaver. But that's all I have for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat to see what I'm up to on a daily basis. Get lots of sneak peeks about what I'm eating and all of that good stuff. And then of course, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to do that and just kind of join my little community here on YouTube. So thank you guys for watching this video. Thumbs up if you want more cooking videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.